Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and another episode of Chocolate World. Today I've got a king size edition of Chocolate World. I was in Walmart the other day and I went down the aisle and I was looking at chocolate bars and saw this one and I thought you know wow that one is pretty big. When I was in the store the other day and I was looking at uh, Target, they had all the big giant chocolate bars and candy bars and a giant gummy bear and they were all like, you know, one pound bars and the gummy bear was like this big thing, but they were about $10 each. So I don't think that was quite in the budget for this year, but I ran across this one and it is a fairly big size bar and it is the Milka Oreo Big Crunch Bar. <laughs> it's a pretty good size. Uh, you could tell this. Barely fits on the whole screen. It's big as, bigger than my head. And for this one, nine servings per container and four pieces is 180 calories. And this bar weighs 10.5 ounces. So it is pretty big. A normal little chocolate bar is like, you know, I think it's like about two ounces or an ounce and a half, something like that. But so this is pretty good, pretty good size. And it's actually very thick and pretty solid little thing. And on here it says, on the back, you can see that. It's resealable. <laughs> so after you take a couple of pieces, then you can reseal it up, put it back in your freezer or wherever you want to put it. And this is another one of those tricky deals where you have to get the pieces out there. And I don't know how this is going to be resealable, but I don't know, maybe the little part sticky in the middle. I'm not sure. Maybe that must stick back together somehow. And unfortunately, this one already broke when it was in the package. So this is about almost almost a whole bar. There's a couple sections left in here. But here's what it looks like. Pretty good size bar. And there's the cross section for all the little pieces. And it's just layers of chocolate and then cream and then the little cookie in the middle so i'm gonna try and attempt to break off a piece now oh, that actually went pretty good so as you can see here's the cross section and i'm gonna try and ah there we go yeah this is milk chocolate so there's all the little pieces and i'm gonna go ahead and give this a try for you guys out there and here we go. Hmm. The one thing I noticed, very thick. Um, yeah, I can taste that cookie. Hmm. The milk chocolate is good. It's creamy. I can taste the cookie cream that's mixing with the crunchy cookie in the middle mmm it tastes wow mmm it does taste like the Oreo cream and the Oreo cookie mmm and that milk chocolate coating actually really good wow I am surprised Oh, and um, the cost for this one, I still have my receipt, was the giant one was $3.98. So this one was about four bucks. So, you know, that's a pretty good size, but it is a big chocolate bar and you got quite a bit. So I'm gonna 
reseal this up and put it back in the freezer. Save it for later. If I can figure out how to do it. There we go. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Guess it's resealed. <laughs> as good as it's going to get. Anyway. So. Yeah, it's nice, creamy. The chocolate in the middle was good. So I'm going to attempt to pick this up. Give you guys a rating on the Oreo cookie. Big crunch bar. So for this one, nice and creamy, good flavor. The cookie was good in the middle and nice and crunchy. I will give this one... Ooh, uh, seven out of 11. It was pretty good. The milk chocolate was not, you know, outstanding. It's more along the lines of a Hershey bar and just, you know, plain milk chocolate. It wasn't exceptional. It wasn't really, really creamy, but it was pretty good. And the cream coating on the outside tastes a lot like Oreo cookies. And of course the Oreo cookie in the middle was just like an Oreo cookie. So I'd probably get this again, although $4 was a little bit much for it. But you know, here again, I'm probably have about a month, month or two worth of chocolate or, you know, some other people might go through this in a day, but I've got it for a little bit, for a little while, and I'll uh, be able to enjoy it. So, if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right there. And until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I will talk to you later. Cut. Take two. Until next time on Drew's Food Reviews. Um, if you... Oh boy. <laughs>